Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hoff Bergman. So, yeah, uh, last episode I did get this calf moved in here, and I wasn't sure how you tell if it's a heifer female or the bull calf, the male. So actually I did do a bit of looking into it, and yeah, this is actually female calf pens right here, and these are the male calf pens, see there? Manlich, Manlich. Not sure how we say that, but yeah. And then this one here, Wee Bleach, is uh, female. So uh, then this at the very bottom there is the growth, I'm guessing. Kalb is calf in German. So yeah, I'm not sure what the other one says. I don't know, but yeah, this will. Oh, okay, zero. Okay, I get it now. Zero is calf. Then once it turns to one, it's grown I guess it's fully grown it's ready to be moved out so yeah that's what that's what uh, I figured out anyway and they can use more sewer they take quite a bit uh, but this good for now so everything is good still from the last episode so we don't need to do that so what I need to do now in this episode is bag up the dried grain I do need to pick up the whole grain which we got processed so yeah, we'll just check on it here. Yeah, oh, it's still going. I thought it would have been done by now, but it's actually still got 1% to go, so... The potatoes aren't even ready yet, so it, we don't have we don't have a rush for that. Um, so yeah, over here... We do have one bag made already. So I need to move that out of the way and make another bag. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll probably just make a time lapse of me doing these and I need to buy a, a flat deck trailer to load them onto so I will look for I do have a a small flat deck trailer but I think it is going to be too small if I can find it here yeah this one here I for Williams trailer it's going to be too small I think if we just get a Bale trailer or something, I think it should be good. I'm gonna go with this trailer here, it looks like a kind of older... ...kind of style trailer. It'll be good enough for hauling around... Uh, ...things. Maybe we can use it for bales. But yeah, I'll use this uh, trailer and load the big bags on there. Hopefully it's big enough. It's only 9,600, so it's a pretty good price. So, hopping into the Merlot here. I'm just gonna see... If the big bag handler forks will fit onto this, because I kind of want to use this one for it. I do have the Kramer over there, but I'll have to bring it all the way down here. Because I don't, because that thing can be front loader attachment as well as the skid steer, so hopefully. Nope, doesn't fit. So I will have to buy one of these too for the. Telehandler. Alright, here we go. Let's just hook up to this thing. And we can move those bags and then we'll just see if we can hook up to the trailer with this. I think we can. It does have an attacher. Yeah, there we go. So I'm not too sure how many bags we're going to get out of this. Let's just see. So, doing the math, 30,000 litres at 2,000 litres per bag is going to be about 15 bags, I think. So, it should fit on there. Yeah. Let's hope. I hope they don't glitch around too much and fall off, because last time I did this in my single player, I did have trouble with the bag glitching. I'm jumping all over the place. So, let's get this in a decent position. Move this trailer out of the way. For now. Yeah. Like I said, I am probably going to time lapse me doing this. Just so you can see it. And also, it's not too long of just me going back and forth in real time. So. Just get this first bag on the trailer. 
Need to unfold that. Yeah. Yeah, we can hook on to them. Um Oh, I got it. Had a bag at bad angle there. There we go. So it's automatically filling up the next bag, which is what I want. Not want to be. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, so we have ten. We have five more bags to make, but my trailer is full. So I'm going to bring these down there. And I know there is a loader already at the store. If it's still there, I'm not sure in this update, but... Yeah, see what I mean by the bags glitching around? See that? They're all moved over and stuff. I don't know why it does that. Is that because of the straps, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to bring these down to the, the store to sell them. So you can you guys can see how that works now with the bagging. And I hope they stay on. This is gonna be painful to drive. Oh yeah, they're already trying to come off there. Why do they do that? It's so frustrating. I don't know, but we'll try and get it down there. Yeah, so I actually unstrapped these things and they stopped jiggling about so much, so that, that doesn't make any sense, but okay. I'll, if it works, I'll just use it unstrapped. They do move around still, but not as much as before. They were just like jiggling around and falling off, so... I did just put them all back on. And yeah, I've just been taking it nice and easy. Oh, that's frustrating things like that. I don't like that. I just wish they worked properly. 
Maybe it's just because they're so heavy, but I don't know. I had that problem before. That's why I was kind of seeing if they were going to do it again. So, yeah. We're, oh, they moved a bit then. That was my fault. I was going too fast. But, yeah, I think it's in the back here somewhere. That we have to go. Um, yeah, here. This one. And if I'm right, yeah, there should be a loader here so we can unload them. And then they go on this crane thing and that's how you saw them. I'll show you that. Yeah, there it is. Oh, no, really? Stay on there. Oh. Really, we're right here and they fall off. Yeah, I, maybe if someone knows how to properly transport these, because this is really annoying. Look at that. I'll just walk them over there. Okay, I took those two over there that fell out. And I'll just drive these over there. And then we can actually make some of our very first money from our productions. Should be about there is good. So yeah, this place you can also buy things like uh, fertilizer, seeds, and uh, lime. And then here you got herbicides and stuff, and Reuben, which is used to make seeds. So you put wheat in and and that stuff in there. And this is a slurry buy point, I guess, or a sell point. Also, I don't know. But yeah, we can use this crane here. This is what we use to sell. If it still is like that, anyway. Yeah, retract. So yeah, we put them on there and then we do that. So, let's get started. Hopefully everything works. And we can actually get these things sold. So I'll go for these ones first. I like it how the map actually supplies a loader here, so you don't have to bring yours all the way down. Because I was thinking about just bringing the Merlot down here, but then I remembered that they actually have one down here. So you can only do one at a time. Now, you just put it on there like that. And then over here and click it, raise it up, and it should sell. So we'll see. Oh, yep, there we go. Money's going up. See how much for one bag. 5,432 for one bag. That's pretty good. So now you actually have to bring the crane back down. So it's kind of a slow process, but it's worth it for how much money you get. So yeah, we'll do the next one here. It's a bit of a, yeah, like I said, a bit of a slow process to do these things, but it is worth it. Because they're worth so much more than regular grain prices. And even just to sell this stuff loose is, I think it's around 900 less, somewhere around there. So yeah, if you have the time to do it, just, you might as well. So yeah, I'll go ahead and unload the rest of these. And then I was thinking about going over and just checking on the orchard there. I'm not sure if the anything has grown yet on those trees but I did forget about the orchard because I still don't know how it works I'm just guessing you gotta wait for time but yeah we'll see in a minute I'll just get these sold here and then I'll head over there alright so there's the last bag going up I'm at 83,000 now and then I'll see the total for how much we made here in a minute yeah, it's good money, and we still have around three to five bags to make, I'm sure. So we're at 89,000 now. If we go, which one is it? Uh, here. Okay, so it's showing here our harvest income was 54,450. So that's pretty good. Yeah, so I'm going to 
bring this tractor back to the farm and then I was gonna head over to the orchard to see if there's anything on those trees and then I think that should be it for the video not too long of a video I hope just kind of all taken up by the green selling but yeah I'll see you in a second you know what I completely forgot about is the bees okay they haven't even done anything anyway okay then yeah it must take a couple of days to do that and I don't see anything on these trees yet it's so weird I don't know what's going on here how you get these to work I don't know Like I thought maybe you can just see them there already when you buy this place. I don't know. Let's actually, you know what I was going to try is take one of these crates off. I'll do the front one. And then I'll put it under the tree and see if anything actually happens. I'm so confused. Oh, I need to turn this off. So I don't, I don't need it on this tractor. Like I said in the previous video before, when I got this orchard, you normally get like a watering thing to show you need to water the trees or whatever, but this one nothing. Oh, this is painful. So I don't know. Let's just see, I'm just curious to see if it, anything will come up. Are these really that heavy? Crap. No, nothing. So I think I'll just leave this crate here anyway, so if anything does come off these trees, we can catch it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Yeah, maybe it just takes a while, I guess. A lot of these things I notice take a couple of days, like the chicks take like three or four days or something, and these must take the same, because they're not going. I don't know if I need to turn them on or something, I don't know. No, it just must go by itself, but it did say uh, I need to hop over to the grain dryer. That really is empty already. Oh, yeah. It was on 10% or something, so yeah, I'll just put one of these in there. That should be good for a while. But everything is going good so far. Just really am... Um, Confused with the orchard. Uh, oh, this guy here. Took him off for cosplay. He wasn't doing a good job. Because he was missing so much. Just put him on a regular worker now. Finish off the job. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Kind of just uh, selling the grain, really, in this episode. And yeah, not much going on, but that has to get done. But yeah, if you like the video, Please hit that like button. Subscribe, please, if you like my content. You know, a lot of support recently, like I always say, but it's true, though. Lots of views on the first video, though, for the Hot Bergman. I was really surprised about that. So people must be liking it, anyway. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.